guys thanks for joining me and welcome so today in this video I'd love to share with you how I made this beautiful mirror wall decor. I made it with a placemat and some items that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So if you're interested in how I made this, just keep watching. So this is a placemat that I found in my stash and I thought I would use it in my project. This is a silver placemat. It's absolutely beautiful. It has lots of texture. It's white in the back and so I thought this would be great in my project today. Also I'm going to be using a white foam board that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So first I'm going to place the placemat onto the board. The board is pre-cut down to the size of the mat and what I'm going to do is hot glue the mat to the board. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue around the perimeter of the mat, flip it over and adhere it to the foam board. So I only applied the glue to half of the placemat because it would be easier for me to adhere it. And so I'm just going to pull back the part that doesn't have the hot glue on it. I'm going to apply it in sections and just keep applying the placemat to the foam board. So now I'm going to use my utility knife and cut out the placemat. So now I have the foundation for my placemat. So with an old nail file, I'm just going to be smoothing out the edges of the foam board. So here I'm going to use the Flower Diamond Rhinestone Mesh Wrap. And I've already pre-cut some strips that I'm going to use. And guys, I'm going to show you again, I'll show this as many times in the vi my videos as I can. I'm going to show you how to remove the black lines that are behind these wraps that we buy from Amazon, Michaels, and the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree, it's behind the Dollar Tree's wrap also. So to remove that, I'm simply going to use a permanent Sharpie marker. The color I'm using is silver metallic. And I'm just going to just draw a line or just color over the black line that's behind this wrap. This is what I do for all the wrap that I have, no matter what color it is. This works really well. It makes it look like it was never there. So again, I'm just simply just showing you how I remove the lines from the mesh wrap. Okay, now back to the project. So here I'm just cutting out the, the decoration that I'm going to use. I'm going to hot glue this to the outer edge of the foam board. Next I'm going to use this two row diamond wrap and I'm going to hot glue it to the edge of the placemat.
Now that that's done, I'm going to put it aside and I'm going to use this round mirror, this round framed mirror that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take the wrapping off. I'm going to take the mirror off the frame. Now I'm going to use this diamond rhinestone mesh wrap. I've already pre-cut it into strips and I'm going to apply one row around the perimeter of the mirror. Now that I'm finished with that, I'm going to hot glue the mirror to the center of the placemat. Now using these small square mirrors and these diamond shaped mirrors that I picked up from Amazon, I'm going to create a design on the board. So right now I'm starting with the diamond shaped mirrors. I'm going to hot glue those very close to the center mirror. Now that I have arranged the square mirrors, I'm going to hot glue them into place. So now I'm going to use the silver diamond flower mesh wrap. So I'm just going to cut them into single pieces. Right here I'm just trimming off any of the threads that may still be exposed. Now that I have them arranged on the placemat, I'm going to hot glue them into place.
And guys, this project is almost finished. It came out absolutely beautiful. I love the way it looks. So right now I'm going to take you to the finished project. It's on the wall. It's been applied to the wall with command strips. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Stay blessed and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.